Hey guys, it's Chase from Dash Lawn Services back with another video. So my last video I went to the store, bought myself a mower, a trimmer, and a blower to get my business started. Now, I would not recommend doing it in that order that I did it, because I didn't get myself a client first. So I would recommend getting a client first for sure. We got going truck yet. Uh, so Tip number one, I would recommend going and getting a client first and then going ahead and getting the equipment that you can afford. Um, I, Like I said, I got myself a mower. I, well, you saw it. I got a mower, trimmer, and a blower. They're all electric because I wanted to start an all-electric company. Sorry if you guys can hear. I've got my little man down here with me in the garage. But yeah, I wanted to go with an all-electric company. I am not sure if I'm going to keep up with that in the beginning. And here's my thoughts here on this. Um, when I start getting enough money and I'm, I want to start getting bigger, and I want to start getting bigger yards, I'm going to need to buy like a stand on or a riding mower, right? And well, all electric ones are quite expensive. Like brand new ones are $20,000. At least the green machine ones and stuff are. Okay, so that's kind of my thoughts is I'm thinking about the short term, I guess. Um, long term, I would love to be an all electric company. But for now, I'm just not sure that that's a great way to start things off with if, if you don't have the capital to invest that much money right away. So I thought, all right, you know, the, the push mower, the, the string trimmer and the blower would be great for that. But I don't know about a short-term um, future and if I can continue being all electric in that sense. Uh, eventually that is exactly what I want my company to be, but I need to build up to that at first, I think. Anyways, that aside, the next item of topics is what am I going to do to market this business? Um, I've made a flyer. I've got my... I made a flyer, I've got my logo already created. Again, I got the logo off of Fiverr. 20 bucks for the one that I've got. Again, I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Um, but I've also made myself a flyer. Here that one is. And then I made a, a magnet, one of those three by, or three by two or something like that magnets, kind of the size of a, of a business card. That way, you know, they could, I could stick my flyer on to maybe their mailboxes if it's metal with that magnet. Anyway, something for them to keep on their fridge if people do that anymore. Um, maybe something that they'll hold on to for just a little bit longer. So those are the three things I'm going to do in that regards. So yeah, I'm going to, so I'm going to take those flyers when I'm driving home from work and dropping them off into some of the neighborhoods that are right there on my way home or to work. Um, right now they are being printed. I've got an awesome friend that owns a printing business right now. So we bartered. I'm going to help him with some things. And he said that he would print me off the flyers and the magnets. So um, I, am, I feel blessed that I have that at least. But if not, it's really not that expensive to get yourself flyers. You can go with the local person or you can go on to Fiverr as well. So that's pretty cool. Or not Fiverr, I'm sorry, uh, Vistaprint. Something like that. Um, let's see here. I did try Facebook Marketplace. I got a few views on there. Nothing, nothing is sticking yet. I don't know if that's gonna be something good or not. Again, I apologize, uh, my son is in the garage with me in the man cave. Um, giving mom a nice little rest since she's home with him all day. Um, but I'll show you, you know, kind of what I did there. Uh, basically, I just made a, and I don't know if this is legal tour with Facebook or what, but I made a marketplace thing post and posted on there. Like I said, I got a few views, but no calls yet on that. Um, I did do a Craigslist. I'm just trying all these things out, you know. I did a Craigslist post. They're $5 now to post on there. Nothing. 
Maybe I will later on. I don't know. Um, my title was $10 off your first mow. And then affordable or whatever. I can't remember. I'll show you guys here in a bit. I'll write it down on the, the screen here. Um, what's the next thing? Uh, I've tried Google AdWords here to start off with. Again, I got probably 50 hits from that in a day. And um, honestly, it was like almost almost a dollar per hit. So yeah, I'm like, nope, that's too expensive to continue that for right now. Um, and nobody, when they went to my website, nobody filled out the form or anything. So I don't, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong there. I've got my form, you know, for a free request right there on the front page, right in the front area. There's a, I've got like multiple buttons that go to my forms to fill out. I've got my phone number printed off right on the very top, in the middle, like at the bottom. Um, so, and all, I, I'm a marketing manager. And so all these things I know and that should be working, but I'm having a little bit of a tough time for some reason getting people to give me a call back or, you know, go on the form. My other thoughts on that though is that you know, I, I just need to give, be patient. It is in the middle of the season. It's um, almost July now, right? And I'm just beginning and I don't have any yards to post on, any pictures of yards to post on to these sites. So that's kind of making it a little bit difficult. Um, you know, I don't know what else. So, I think I'm ex I'm excited about trying the flyers because you know I, that's the most direct way. It's maybe it's going to be the cheapest for me, and it's probably going to be the cheapest for you as well. They're really not that expensive to get printed off, and you know you can go on to Google, look up landscaping templates if you need one. Um, like I said, I I created my own, my own, but that is kind of part of what I do as my full time job. So I'm hoping that the flyers and the magnets work out. My other hope is that word of mouth and you know maybe my friends will start uh, mentioning things. Um, but until then, I'm kind of just sitting here. Now, I think I said it at the beginning of this video. I know it's starting to get kind of long. I'm rambling on. Oh, by the way, here's my business card as well. So I created a nice little business card. Those should be shipping to me here pretty darn soon, probably this week, uh, maybe uh, in the next couple days when this video is posted. Yes, yeah, so there's the business cards. I'm excited about that. Uh, now, I have gotten my first client. It is word of mouth already, but I'm pretty excited about it. It is going to be bi-weekly. Uh, he's paying $100 to do this bi-weekly service, so $100 each visit. It's gonna be $200 a month. So yeah, that's a start at least, right? And I'm gonna go around into his um, area and pass out my flyers. There actually was another lawn care company that used to take care of that area. He got hurt and is looking for somebody to take over his yard, so I'm gonna meet up with him as well and uh, hopefully we can get some of those yards as well if they haven't already gotten a new company. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. Hopefully, you know, good stuff. We'll be giving them all flyers and magnet as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get out there. I'm gonna be doing, you know, kind of a door to door, giving my fly flyers out. Hopefully it starts uh, booming from here. Anyways guys, hope you all take care. Declan, you wanna say bye? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Chase from Dash Lawn Services. This is my journey of starting a lawn care business from scratch. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Take care, everybody.